About seven years ago, South Africa successfully sent a light turboprop attack aircraft into the sky. This is the maiden flight of the South African Mustang II light attack aircraft. The designer aimed to create an affordable attack aircraft that could partially replace jet attack aircraft and large drones, in other words, it was designed for poor countries and low-intensity combat. As a South African-developed fighter, the designer claimed it to be the first truly African-designed fixed-wing fighter. As for why it is also called Mustang, this naming seems to have a bit of a copycat meaning, perhaps because it initially considered the needs of the US military in its design, and having the same name as the classic Mustang fighter could resonate with people. The aerodynamic layout of the Mustang II is relatively simple. The fuselage adopts a modular design, similar to a two-seat cockpit and an armed helicopter, with a tandem-stepped configuration and ejection seats. The fuselage is narrow, providing the pilot with a good field of view. Below the fuselage is a highly modular design. This mission bay can be equipped with various cameras, synthetic aperture radars, electronic intelligence collection equipment, etc., according to different usage requirements. The nose and belly of the aircraft can also be equipped with electro-optical turrets. In short, it is a very flexible fighter that can quickly change mission modules to perform different tasks. The mission bay has 53 cubic feet of space and can accommodate equipment weighing up to 1,674 pounds, so the aircraft itself is not limited to ground attack purposes. The wings of the fighter are high-mounted and have a very small leading-edge sweep angle, which is quite rare. The wings extend rearward into double tail beams on both sides, and the vertical tail has two surfaces. The engine compartment is located at the rear of the fuselage, powered by a Pratt & Whitney PT-6A turboprop engine with a power of 710 kW. The landing gear is a tricycle configuration and can be retracted into the fuselage. It can take off and land on dirt runways and has strong adaptability. The fighter is equipped with a GI-220 mm cannon from South African company Danel in the fuselage. There are six hardpoints under the wings, which can mount different weapons and ammunition according to the changes in mission modules, such as conventional rocket pods, machine gun slash cannon pods, air-to-surface missiles, etc. It can also carry South Africa's ZT-6 Makopa anti-tank missiles and short-range air-to-air missiles. The multi-role nature of the Mustang II is also reflected in its protective armor, which is also modular in design. The ground attack version can install armor plates to protect important parts of the aircraft, while the conventional version can remove the armor plates to reduce the flight burden. The Mustang II can also be quickly disassembled into several large pieces. A disassembled aircraft can be packed into a 40-foot container for transportation, and AC-130 transport aircraft can transport two aircraft at once. Although the Mustang II light attack aircraft may appear somewhat outdated, it does have many advanced designs, especially in terms of modularity, surpassing most aircraft. South African designers considered that the purchase and operating costs of jet attack aircraft are high, which is why they developed the affordable Mustang II. This market positioning is also accurate, and many armies, including the US military, have begun to revalue functional turboprop aircraft. There are still many countries in the world that can use turboprop aircraft to carry out a series of tasks such as counter-terrorism, drug trafficking, border patrols, and search and rescue. So far, the Mustang II has attracted attention from some countries and has participated in bidding for the US military, but no country's military has actually equipped it. The Mustang II light attack aircraft has an empty weight of 2,000 kg, a maximum takeoff weight of 3,800 kg, a length of 10.3 meters, a height of 4 meters, a wingspan of 11.9 meters, and a crew of two people, a pilot and a co-pilot slash observer. The aircraft has a takeoff run distance of 550 meters when fully loaded, a maximum speed of 504 km per hour, a maximum altitude of 9,450 meters, endurance time of 7 to 10 hours, and a maximum range of 2,130 kilometers.